Valentina. Valentina. Natasha, nice to meet you. Hi, nice to meet you. Now we discussed earlier about putting some IV fluids up for you. Welcome to this video which demonstrates how to set up an intravenous infusion. Begin by performing wiper. Wash your hands, introduce yourself to the patient and confirm their name, date of birth and if they have any allergies. Explain the procedure and seek permission to perform the procedure. Expose their arm and reposition as appropriate. Observe the cannula site for any signs of inflammation or misplacement. Depending on your professional role, you may be required to double check the prescription and patient with a second qualified member of staff. Ensure the fluids are prescribed correctly. Use the five rights. The right patient, the right drug or fluid, the right dose, the right route, the right time. Clean a dressing trolley with an alcohol wipe. Gather the equipment and check their expiry dates as you go along. You will need a plastic tray, the correct bag of fluid, the correct administration set, a saline flush, an alcohol wipe, a sharp spin and alcohol hand gel. Also remember gloves and apron. Remove the outer wrapper on the fluid bag and check the fluid for transparency. Once again, always check the fluids and equipment are in date. Hang the bag up on a drip stand. Twist off the cap attached to the fluid bag. Now open the fluid administration set. Unravel the tube, making sure to keep hold of both ends. These are your key parts that must remain sterile. Clamp the tube using the roller clamp. Do this by rolling the wheel downwards. Remove the cap from the spike. This is a key part and must remain sterile. Now push the spike firmly into the port with a twisting motion. Ensure the opposite end of the tube remains safely in your hand. Squeeze the drip chamber several times until it fills halfway with fluid. Now prime the tube with fluid by opening the roller clamp slowly. Allow the fluid to pass slowly along the tube until it reaches the end. You will notice some air bubbles in the tube. These must not be infused into the patient. You can remove them easily. Should there be a really big air bubble, you might need to allow some of the saline to drain into a sink or pot until the bubbles are cleared. Stretch the tube tightly and flick it with your finger. This encourages the bubbles to rise to the end of the tube. Now close the clamp. Remove these gloves and wash your hands. Put on a clean pair of gloves to connect the drip to the cannula. Bring your tray containing an alcohol wipe and saline flush closer to your patient. Clean the cap on the cannula with an alcohol wipe.
Open the clamp. Please make sure there aren't any air bubbles in the syringe. Now flush the cannula with the saline flush to ensure it is clean and patent. Now close the clamp. Remove the cap from the administration tube exposing the key part. Immediately connect this to the cannula. Open the clamp again to allow the fluids to infuse. Set the drip rate according to the prescription. Now sign the drug chart and make a note of the procedure in the patient's notes. Thank the patient and dispose of the waste.